All right, so we're on our way right now. We're leaving tight, and we're going to storage that we have down the street. We have two 10 by 10 storage bins. So at that point, we got to go down there. We've got a photo shoot scheduled for tomorrow for two girls that have never shot with Titan. Get them some Titan gear, get them all set and ready to go for tomorrow. Plus, I got to see exactly how much we got because we got big events that are coming up. Want to make sure we have enough clothing for our Titanettes that are going to be working those events, plus enough giveaways for all the people that are going to be coming out to those events. So you got to enter this little code in, obviously, and then it'll let you go to the sixth floor. So the sixth floor is where the storage units are at. And when you see it, I mean, you never know if you look at the outside of this building, there's storage units here. You would never know layers. Even though the office was at, it's kind of funky. Chance is just like that, though. It's just like everything got built down here before. And, um, you know, there was limited space. So everything got built up and at that point now people are starting to come around the channel side it's like the big big place to go uh i think it's not right now. yeah so you never realize that you had all these storage rooms up here and it's obviously a good business let's open this up so you guys can see what's in storage one number one so this is a lot of the medical equipment and stuff like that we had from before. And then you'll see some of the clothing that's in here. So some of the clothing here looks like it's a lot of long sleeve stuff. So got a ton of hoodies. These are great for summer. I gotta start getting these out. You guys need to start supporting these. Because these things are awesome. Awesome to train in. You know, they'll show the arms if you want to. They're great. They go with pretty much everything. Really nice material. So definitely gotta check in those. Oh, I know what these are. These are pens. 100%. All right. So that's number one. Let's go look at number two. Hey, see what's in door number two? Let's see what's in door number two. So this is a lot more organized, right? This is kind of how it should be. You know, obviously we got more medical equipment here. This is all dentist chairs and all that. Like, it's a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of money just sitting here, I guess. But, um, you know, this is going to show us, like, what we got here. And this guy's a lot more of the leggings and stuff. Which we really need to see what we got because we got some huge events that are coming up. Um, let's see what we got. I'm gonna pick out some stuff, and at that point we can shoot this stuff tomorrow. Let me get something that's really, really nice. Just got done coming down to the storage units we had down the street from Titan Medical Center. We had two big 10 by 10s, full with all kinds of Titan gear and everything from Titan, right? So I came down here because we got a photo shoot tomorrow with two new Titan nets. Um, so I had to get some new gear from them. I have all different kind of leggings down here, different outfits, clothing that we've had in storage that needs to get out there. So we just came down here, filled up the little Titan goodie bag uh, for the ladies tomorrow. So it'll be rocking and rolling. So at this point, you'll get to see what's in the bag after we do the photo shoots and when you get to see the video and behind the scenes. What's up guys, John here, and it's a beautiful day here in Tampa, Florida. We are in the Titan Lounge here at the Tampa headquarters of Titan Medical Center, and uh, we're getting ready for another photo shoot. So this is gonna be awesome because we've got a new Titan that we're welcoming today, Melanie. She's got the blue and white leggings and sports bra and you know the blue and white holds a certain place in my heart because those are the original Titan Medical Center colors tried and true um, so she is dazzling in the white and blue sports bra and leggings so if you guys are looking for the originals this is what the original looks like right here for sure 100 percent and uh, we've got an awesome awesome other model here today Emily and she's a personal friend and she's just an awesome person all the way around. So she said, I'm gonna come shoot before I take a vacation. And uh, I was like, yeah, come on down, man, for sure, 100%. So today we're gonna do some of the shoots uh, with them in some of the Titan Medical Center clothing, some of the sports balls, leggings, shorts, even some of the baseball tees and some other different things that maybe you haven't seen before. Maybe you have seen some of these things before, but if you don't own a pair, you have no idea what the quality is of Titan Medical Center's clothing. And you know, people are like, listen, you got clothing, you got this, aren't you guys a medical center? So 
listen, we are a medical center full on and full out, but we're not just a medical center. We are a lifestyle, right? That's what Titan Medical Center is. It's the Titan lifestyle. And that encompasses everything of a healthy lifestyle. And you know what? That's not just feeling good on the inside, but it's looking good on the outside too as well. And how you want to look, right? So that's what it's all about. So today's going to be an awesome, awesome shoot. Um, and man, they're looking dynamic already. So it's just getting started. Stay tuned because you guys are going to see all the great things the Titan Medical Center has. Right now, we've got uh, Melanie in the pink and black camo. Man, this thing looks fire. If you guys want to look good and feel good all over, then these are going to be the leggings and sports balls for you. All high-end, top quality, probably the best quality you're going to get. These things were made, and the material comes from Colombia, and they're made in Colombia. So uh, they definitely know how to hug the curves properly. They're going to be great for whether you're walking around, lifestyle stuff, or actually going to the gym. And you know, those cheap leggings out there, they uh, they don't look so good when you're squatting, especially in the back end for the ladies. You get that big white blur, and you don't want that. That's low quality, you want that stretch, right? So this, you're never gonna see that. So you guys can have the comfort and confidence that when you're doing your exercises, you're gonna look good while you're doing. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Emily. I'm here today at Titan Medical doing a photo and video shoot. I just want to let you guys know how super comfortable and awesome these new gear is. The leggings have a nice thick band, super comfortable, squat proof. The sports bra has lots of support. Um, I would even go out and run errands in this outfit. Nice light fabric, super comfortable. If you guys like any of the gear that you see today and want to look cute just like me, please visit TitanMedicalCenter.com. I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just want to kind of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other medical conditions, can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones, um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, so the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling and see how we can help. What's up guys, John here from Titan. And today I wanna to give you guys some tips of what not to do before you go work out or do strenuous activity, okay? 
So everybody always talks about things they should do and what you should do, but there are definitely some things that you should not do or that will give you a negative effect on your workout. Let's talk about them. They're very common. I think you guys will all like, you know, like say like, you know what, that's me in some circumstances, I guess, right? So the first one is, is not to eat a huge meal before you go and work out. All right. Now it's okay to eat before you go work out, have a protein shake, right? You want your body to have some protein in there, maybe some branched chain amino acids, some different things, okay? So it's good to do, but you don't want to just, you know, stuff yourself, just eat as much as possible, you're like, oh, I'll blur it out. If it, one, it's, it's a lot harder. Your body is in a slower metabolism state at that point. The other thing is, is you get tired, right? That, that's one thing, when we get full, think of holidays, when you just stuff yourself full of these different turkey, ham, chicken, whatever it is, you're gonna get full and that's what you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel full and you're gonna feel, you know, set and you wanna go get some sleep. So it might make you tired. So this is definitely something you wanna stay away from. Don't overeat before doing activity or the workouts, okay? I promise you, you guys will be good. The second thing is, don't overdo it on pre-workouts or stimulants. This is a very, very common one. And let me give you an example. Some people get pre-workouts and usually it's one serving size and that serving size of, let's just say caffeine, can be anywhere from 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams per serving. That means per scoop. Now, some of these people take two, three, four scoops. That's way too much as far as caffeine goes. You're overdosing this caffeine. And caffeine, you know, by legal description, is a drug, okay? It's, it's not a bad drug, but it's something that you don't want to overdose on because it gives you negative side effects. You can get jitters, heart palpitations, nausea, uh, your stomach, so having to go to the bathroom, in the gym bathrooms before you go work out uh, is, is not really optimal, I guess, or not really uh, the place you want to be in. Or maybe you you do, I don't know. But <laughs> it's definitely a place that I would not like to do. And I used to pre do pre-workouts back in the day. I don't do them anymore. I do Hercules Potion or ECA Stack Plus, and I get no feeling like that. But there are a lot of people out there that still use these different things. So I want you guys to be aware of this. Don't do it. It will mess up your workout. You might not feel good, okay? That's not gonna give you an optimal state to work out the way that you want to to get you the optimal results that you're looking for, all right? Third thing is, don't go home before you go to the gym. Don't get off path. If you have to work, it's totally understandable. We all have to work every day, right? We gotta provide a life, you know, a livelihood. We gotta take care of our families. This is first priority in any means necessary, especially with me. But if you get off track or you, you make an excuse of where you need to go or what you need to do, before that gym time, you have to set it as an appointment, schedule it in, whatever it is, you need to do that. Unless somebody's dying in the hospital, right, or you're hurt pretty bad, you need to go. And you need to get it done, and then you can get out of there and, and you can go take care of whatever you need to afterwards. So schedule it in, don't have any distractions, and a lot of people, if they do go home, they get real comfortable, like, oh, you know, I'll just go tomorrow, right? I've been there, I know exactly how it is. So. Don't do that. I promise you, you'll have a better successful rate of going to the gym, having better activity, okay, and getting yourself better results. So this is just some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years that I want to share with you guys to hopefully help you guys out. So I'm John from Titan. I got a ton of these different videos coming your way to help you guys out. So stay tuned. I'll be back with a lot, lot more. Thanks, guys. So I'm going to tell you the three major benefits that I get from testosterone replacement therapy that I'm sure you can get too. Number one is recovery. It's essential to be able to recover after a hard day at work, a hard day at the gym, a hard day at office. Recovery is essential. That's the number one benefit that you get from HRT. The next benefit is strength. The older we get, the harder it is to push those weights to help our children up to help our mom when she's falling. It's so important. My mom is getting older. I want to make sure I have a strong back and strong arm to be able to help my mother out. And I know you would want to too. And the other thing is being able to sleep. I sleep like a baby. If I don't sleep, I'm cranky. You don't want to see me without sleep. And I'm sure you get cranky too. Those three benefits are sure enough to get you to get on HRT. Make sure you get your blood work done at Titan Medical Center and they're going to tighten you up.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife right here are coming at you guys every week with tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because this advice or these tips and tricks will hopefully set you up for a successful new relationship with a partner that hopefully you'll know what the good things are, bad things are, and where to go from here. Be able to point it out a little faster. That's right. That's right. <laughs> We're going to give you guys the inside scoop of maybe what to look for, you know, how you can deflect some things or how you can, you know, go on to having a very successful relationship. So every week we pick a new topic and whether it's a tip or trick to help you guys in the bedroom or to communicate better or things to watch out for or things that you should probably do. Um, and in this week, it's not anything has changed. So at this point, uh, we're going to talk about quality time and spending quality time with your loved one, your partner, whatever it is. At that point, we were talking with some friends this weekend. And that's where you get a, little, a lot of insight because me and Cherie's like, we know our relationship. We know kind of what works. Um, a lot of people ask us how our relationship works the way it does because of how, you know, crazy, I guess, our life is. And, um, you know, it's unorthodox in some of the different things that we've done throughout the times that, you know, normal people wouldn't do maybe. That we still do. That we still do, yeah. you know, and people are like, wow, that really works or how does that work? And it just may not work for them, right? So everybody's different, relationships different, um, your boundaries, everything you set, these are the things that are hopefully going to set the relationship up for success. But one thing you cannot forget, obviously communication is one of the main gotta things. Gotta have communication. You know, we always mention that one because it's that important. Gotta, we gotta have, mention it at least once in every single episode yeah. so you guys don't forget. It, We're yeah. just drilling it in your yeah. brain. Yeah. Communicate, yeah. communicate, communicate. Constant, constant Stop communication. Stop being silent. Communicate, communicate, yes. communicate. Yes. <laughs> you know, so, you know, with this one, the first thing you guys need to communicate is you need to spend time together. Right now it gets real hard. It gets a little bit more tricky as the relationship goes on. First off, when you first meet, you know, you probably have jobs and you guys are working different schedules or maybe you're working the same schedules and you guys are going out and you guys are having a great time. And if everything's going well, right, the, the relationship's going to advance and you guys are going to progressively go more and more. So that means, you know, getting engaged, possibly getting married, having kids, um, whatever it is, even if you don't have kids or you're not married or engaged, it's still important to have that quality time. It just gets a little bit more trickier when you do have kids. But yeah, you gotta like remember what, like what is the definition of quality time, right? Yeah. Because everybody's definition of quality time is different. Yeah. And that's fine. You can have a different definition for everybody yeah. in quality time. But let me label some things that are not quality time. Mm. Having children around is not quality time. It might be family time. That's not couple quality time. Right, okay. Right. Going to dinner with friends. That's not quality time. That's hanging out with your friends and not going to dinner by yourself with your significant other, trying to figure out what you guys are going to talk about alone. Cause you got to have alone time, meaning True. alone. True. So it's just, I want to point these things out, going into a nightclub with your friends. That's also the same exact type of thing. You know, or B, maybe you think quality time is um, you guys both sitting in a bed and one's watching TV and one's reading a book. That is also not quality time. I want to make sure I, I, I at least pick the couple things that are on top. It's time spent together. I mean, you're not talking. You're not conversating. You're not updating each other yeah. on feelings and or what's going on at work or yeah. what's going on here, what's going on there. It might. I mean, me and John are busy, so... I mean, we get to spend minimal quality time together, even though we're together all day, every day. Yeah. That doesn't mean we get to talk and have quality time, you know? So it's, I think it's important that you guys understand what quality time is and the definition of what quality time is and meaning truly by yourselves and really interacting with yeah. each other. Yeah. I think that's what it really comes out. Down on your cell phone when you guys are at dinner together, invite you and two. You're on your phone the whole time. That, that really pisses me off. It's not good. And it's, you know, That'll piss me off. For some people to say, hey, listen, I work a lot on my phone, or I do this. Yeah, I totally <laughs> understand that. She totally understands that. Hour. But like, you know, it, that one hour of quality time is gonna be everlasting to your partner. They're gonna really appreciate it. And if they don't, they might need another partner. But at that point, Somebody is going to appreciate you, you know, interacting with them, listening to them, because it's not just talking to somebody. It's really listening and let them tell you, hey, what's going on? Or they might have stuff that they want to share with you. 
And it's just important to listen and obviously reciprocate and talk back too as well. Not just sitting there like, mm. You know, it's like you little know? things too because I'm like trying to remember because we just recently went on my birthday vacation. And my birthday vacation is always ever so important because it's, I need that like one week away from human society and everyone to just like really think about what's going on, spend time with John. And I'm not alone with John, but I make time alone with John. But are little things that I like recall over the vacation that I don't see other couples do that me and John still do right now going on what 15 years or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, we still hold hands. That's important, right? I feel like people just don't do that anymore. I don't, it's really weird. You know, people, you don't see people like, sometimes I'll just go up to him and like, we'll be walking, go like that. Or, you know, we literally hold hands, right? When we're walking through the mall or whatever it is. I feel like people are so much more distant nowadays. Six foot, baby. No, I'm just joking. This is not COVID. <laughs> Either that or they're preoccupied on their phone, so they're not holding hands because yeah. they got their phone like this while they're walking through the mall. It's true. So you're not, if you, if you at least can point these things out, you know, you'll, you'll maybe do it, right? So hold hands, kiss, make sure you kiss at least once a day. That's super important. Say, I love you. And another thing is, is if you guys go out somewhere, like, um, I don't know, maybe dinner or let's use dinner. So if you go to dinner, why don't you try sitting next to your significant other instead of like maybe the group of friends so that you can not only have a talk with your friends, but you can still have a talk with your significant other, not like they don't exist with a menu in front of their face, right? <laughs> so there's that. And then the other uh, example I can give you is that, you know, me and John, we still have this spark when we go to a nightclub, right? And yeah, we're getting old. That's fine. We're going to be those old people in the club in the VIP section still dancing, oh. right? It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, oh, I don't belong here, but hey, this is so much fun. <laughs> um, but regardless, me and him, you know, we still like, you know, we still interact with each other at the, at the club or, or dancing. That's our thing though, right? We like to dance. We like music. Find your thing and then do your thing with each other. Mm -hmm. Like it really boils down to that. And this is just a couple of little highlights throughout the vacation that I can like point out to you that I'm like, wow, I'm not seeing like the other couples aren't dancing with each other. Well, you know, like maybe they don't want to dance. I guess that's fine. But like even, you know, they don't hold hands and they're, they're not, you know, they don't give a hug or they don't, I don't know. It's just, it's very distant sometimes. I know they still, they love each other. That's fine. You can love each other all day, but you got to keep the love going and right. you got to keep it fresh. It's constantly working. You know? It is working. It's such a job. Yeah. It's not. It's it's. God, it's, John you know, makes it so difficult. It's con it's constant okay. maintenance to the relationship. You maintenance your car. When I'm maintenance to relationship, make sure everything's good per se. The tire, right? You, you, and everything's good on the car. So why don't you make sure your relationship is the exact same? You broke down the side of the road. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't know <laughs> when the relationship is going to break down because you haven't paid any attention to it. So at that point, you're kind of running on fumes, or something's going to you know be all balanced. And you're just going to break down and. And then at that point, it's going to be like, oh, what, what, why, why? I'm not sharing no attention to you and you're wanting to go do other stuff without me or with your friends or somebody gets in the DMs or whatever it is. And that's just, that's not right I'm either. I'm not being my man's DMs. But uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, these things can happen. It opens up for issues out there, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like set something aside. That's what most complaints are, I think, from women a lot. or guys, you know, they don't show me no attention, you know, things. Uh, pure guys are, I've heard it, you know, from them once, you know, um, you know, they're married, uh, it's married life. No, it's not true. Um, that's just, you guys not working at it <laughs> Two, Um, yeah, we got kids. Yeah. I understand the kid thing for sure. hundred percent. But there's times that I know I snuck away. We snuck away, um, just for whatever it was, right. There's definitely times you can't too. Now, Make if the wife is out of the mood and everything like that, and the wife don't want to show you no love, you need to talk to her about this. I'm like, Hey, and if she's like, Hey, there's issues. Then there's help for that too, as well. Tight Medical Center definitely help women out. We'll at the help you get out of those sweatpants at eight o'clock, ladies. Absolutely. So, you know, that's that's really what it is. But it's paying attention, and then there's an issue communicating with that. Of course. Um, but that's the biggest thing. And you know, you set aside one night a week, right? One night. I don't care if it's two to three hours where you guys go have dinner or go do something um, by yourselves. It doesn't matter. You guys go putt putting, just you two, right? Something of that nature. Something where it's just you guys, you guys can interact, have maybe some fun and talk about maybe the day or, you know, the Laugh relationship or everything else. Stuff. Absolutely. Go people watch yeah. and do something, you know, yeah. 
it, it feels good to laugh and talk about things or whatever it might be. Because you might, I mean, after so much time, you know your partner pretty good. And there's only so many questions you can ask, like, what's your favorite color? Yeah, yeah. What, what kind? You know, I think I asked John the other day <laughs> what, what his uh, spirit animal would be or yeah. something random like that. Because we're watching some show. But so, man, it could be a tiger or a lion. Well, what's even better than well, that? Well, I wanted to make sure I picked out exactly what I knew he'd oh, say. I guess I'll be a bear. So he could be, you know, crazy. She never told me her, though. Anyway. He didn't ask. <laughs> ah. <laughs> See, no reciprocation here. No reciprocation. I communicate. You need reciprocate. Nobody <laughs> even knows what my spirit animal is. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in her own right. That's what she is already. <laughs> She is a spirit animal. Uh, so, guys, I hope this helped you guys out in your relationship or applying it to your relationship in the future. Um, and if you're one of these couples, maybe you've lost track of things, hey, there's no better time than now to get back on track and ignite those flames right back where they need to be. All right? So every week, tune in to us live here on ABC at 11 a.m. DVR us if you can't watch us live. And don't worry, if you guys can't watch us at all, ABC live or on DVR, just go to YouTube. You'll see this video and all kinds of other great content. I guarantee you guys are going to love and will definitely give you some entertainment and maybe some great knowledge to apply forward. So guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Sunday with another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you then.